Hey, Trevor Matthews here. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I want to talk a little bit about Compressor Super 8, where to check in and why you need to take Compressor Super 8. You want to always make sure there is no liquid, liquid refrigerant going back to a compressor. And the only way to tell is by checking the Super 8 at the compressor. You, this is a Emerson simulator and if you're a training school or if you're a contractor, I would highly recommend looking to get one of these. They're very inexpensive to train your new apprentices, your new technicians. You could do like a, a monthly even uh, program where they can come in even on the weekends and you can ask them to charge the unit, pull the gas out, set it up properly. Anyway, this is not about a simulator training. Here's the metering device of the TXV for this evaporator. And what you would do is you would check your evaporator or superheat right here. But you then also always want to check your compressor superheat right here. So I got just a, a gauge on here. I have a temperature probe here. Uh, and you always want to check it at the compressor because that'll tell you if that compressor is flooding back or not. If you do this, I want to hear about it. Do you check it on every maintenance? Do you check it on every startup? Do you check it on every commi uh, commission or service call? I would love to know when you check Compressor Super Read. My name is Trevor Matthews. Let's get a conversation going.